China's announcement of carbon peak and carbon neutrality targets has garnered a positive response from foreign companies operating within the country. Many are seizing the opportunity to invest in China's new energy industry chain and further strengthen their presence. This solar power, wind power, and many more is necessary as we are transition in from the fuel-based energy to be a greener, new renewal, and also cleaner energy. And China is leading in this space. Dow is also participating in this market, which is an opportunity for us. So when there is transition, there is opportunity. Multinational companies are collaborating closely with their Chinese customers to develop innovative materials and technologies to promote a circular economy. Last year, we uh, made a very big investment under a very, very challenging business situation. Uh, we started to build uh, the first dedicated uh, mechanical recycling production line to get started to produce uh, very sustainable uh, solutions uh, to the downstream customers. Standard Chartered Bank and the World Resources Institute are taking action to accelerate the low-carbon transition process by jointly releasing a special report on decarbonization pathways and how finance can accelerate the business transition to a low-carbon economy in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. We are facilitating US dollar 300 billion of sustainable finance to help our clients transition to net zero. GBE has world-class urban cluster, industrial cluster, and financial centers, which give GBA a unique advantage to become a world-class green finance center. Taking one of the GBA city, Hong Kong as an example. Hong Kong has a Hong Kong dollar 200 billion government green bond insurance program with insurance today covering multi-currency, one of the longest data government issued in Asia, retail green bonds which you and I can buy, and the latest tokenized green bond. The report estimates that an investment of about 1.84 trillion US dollars will be required for the area to reach carbon neutrality by 2060. But in the midterm, the energy efficiency improvement and the switching to the renewable energy in manufacturing and the building sector and the model shifting in road transport will be the top priorities to, deco to decarbonization.